Holy moly, I thought we had injury issues. I got the uh, Philadelphia Eagles injury report in front of me, and I'm going to read this off to you guys. I'll get into ours in a second. Just take a look or take a listen to this injury report. So we start out with uh, wide receiver J.J. Arcega Whiteside. He's got a calf. He did not participate. Guard Jamin Brown, illness, did not participate. Uh, really good player, defensive tackle Fletcher Cox, abdominal, did not participate. Uh, offensive tackle Jake Driscoll, illness, did not participate. Safety Rudy Ford, growing, you guessed it, did not participate. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, hamstring, also did not. Cornerback Avante Maddox, ankle, also did not. Jason Peters, Trevor Williams, did not participate. And wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey was limited. Same with tackle Lane Johnson, center Jason Kelsey and running back Miles Sanders so I didn't think there was anybody in the league that was as banged up as us but I was uh, wrong for sure Um, this definitely has an effect on your team when you start to get this many injuries and uh, uh, they're no different than we are Um, I'm looking at our practice report for Wednesday uh, of course, D. Ford is back is out. He's going to be probably going on a, a short-term IR, which is a minimum of three weeks. Of course, Garoppolo, ankle, Dre Greenlaw, quadricep, uh, CJ, cornerback, Emmanuel Mosley, concussion, Raheem Mostert, knee, tight end, Jordan Reed, knee, and quarterback, Quan Williams, has a hip issue. Um, it looks really good, though, for this week. Uh, it looks like George Kittle is a full go, running back, uh, McKinnon is also a full go with his uh, ribs and quarterback Akella Witherspoon. There's also talk um, that uh, wide receiver Debo Samuel, depending on how he looks in the, after the next three days, will be possibility of a go for Sunday as well. So um, we're not getting all our reinforcements back, but we're getting some, and that looks good for us. Uh, going into this game with Philadelphia, um, this, to me, possibly could feel like a trap game if we looked at it that way just because they're so banged up and um, you know we're coming off of two big wins against uh, two New York teams um, I think that would be the wrong mindset to go in I think we go in and we go in just as focus uh, the, the thing what I that I like is Kyle Shanahan really doesn't allow us to do that um, he's been known to be extremely critical in, in uh, meetings and really kind of rip into guys so for us to have a letdown and, you know, maybe not play our best, I don't think that'll happen. I think we're going to come out just as focused and as determined as we were the last two weeks. Um, it'd be interesting to see if we can get um, Kittle, Debo, and Ayuk all on the field at the same time. That is to is an interesting and very tantalizing prospect. Um, you have Debo with his tackle-breaking ability, um, just his physicality. It, um, Kittle, of course, with his playmaking ability, but Ayuk, to me, is the most intriguing. He's a crisp route runner. Um, he's more of a hand catch guy. He's not a body catch guy. He's the type of guy that has a humongous catch radius, and that is something we have not experienced in the Shanahan Lynch era. Is a guy who catches the ball away from his body and has the ability to co make big, tough catches. I'm intrigued with him. I really am. I watched some of his second half highlights last week, and he was just super impressive. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Kyle uses both of them in the running game as well. Um, as you know, he likes to do his jet sweeps. Uh, those are a big part of our offense, and I noticed uh, he was using um, a lot of that to get the middle of the field wide open last week. And with Kittle coming back and those kind of plays being into the mix, it'd be interesting to see what kind of effect that'll have on uh, George Kittle's uh, ability to get open with just the fact that they got to respect that uh, jet sweep stuff that we do. Um, It looks like um, Mullins will start again this week. Um, Kyle was asked if uh, Jimmy loses his job once he's ready to go, if uh, Mullins is playing well, and he said, no way, this is uh, still Jimmy's team. Um, You know, it's it's it it is it's still Jimmy's team for sure, and um, he would have to do something miraculous to really uh, lose it. Um, as much as effective as Nick Mullins has been, like I said, we got to look at the competition. And um, I'm not saying he's not effective. I, I watched his highlights last week, and he just he was amazing. 
And I'm really looking forward to Sunday night because I'm actually not working. So I get to watch a full game in all its glory at home in front of my giant 4K television. So I'll definitely have a more in-depth look at the game and um, probably make a video sometime right after the game. Uh, not having to work Monday or Tuesday, that'll allow me to stay up and uh, you know give you give you guys a well thought out uh, description of what I think instead of a rushed kind of you know uh, by the seat of my pants type thing type thing. So it'd be interesting to see if we can get the uh, offensive line playing better this week. Uh, they played pretty horribly, um, I'd say the last two weeks. Uh, Philadelphia is definitely a team that likes to put the the blitz on, and uh, they got a lot of hits on the quarterback. Last week, I don't know how many sacks they got, um, but they're not turning the ball over too much. Their defense has not gotten the ball away from us or uh, off from their opponents. So uh, the running game definitely has to be clicking. You know, if we keep them off balance with that, and then the you know the jet sweep stuff, and we can you can tear them apart like we have the last two weeks. Uh, Kyle is in his is in his glory when he gets the running game working at full capacity in the play action game is just so much more effective. Uh, probably McKinnon looks like Jeff Wilson Jr. and uh, Jamichael Hasty. Um, save the big dogs for the big games coming up. We got to get through the next two. Hopefully we can take uh, Philadelphia, beat them, go against Miami and do that. And then it's off to the races to the big part of the schedule, but um, not much more else to talk about. Um, like I said, we can't leave anything on the field against Philly. They're not not—they're not to be taken lightly. Um, yes, Carson Wentz is struggling, but, you know, he is still a pro quarterback with ability, and we have to have that mindset of, you know, we can't play down to the competition. We have to play up to them no matter who it is. Got to play who's on your schedule, no matter if they're good or bad, and uh, take care of business. So they're without a lot of weapons, offensive and defensively. So are we. Um, I think it's the battle, battle of our depth that will win out, and hopefully we can come away with a victory. But that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are, and I will talk to you on the flip side. See ya.